I'm Judith Diana Winston, and I'm the author of The Keeper of the Diary. Cassie, the main character, goes on this trip to Egypt, but actually that's just the very beginning. The first day, she opens up her camera case and there's a diary there. This diary pulls her into a story that eventually completely changes her life. As this story unfolds, it becomes clear to Cassie there's too many coincidences to be a coincidence. There's a bigger picture unfolding that she's just a part of. She's certainly not the one running the show. She ends up traveling to a lot of the major sacred sites around the planet. In my opinion, some of the most enigmatic of the sites. South America, Peru, Bolivia, Mexico to the Yucatan Peninsula, and eventually to Easter Island. That's what this story is. It's a puzzle. And it's a puzzle whose pieces are all over the place. And she finds a little piece here, and a little piece there, and as she begins to assemble them, the connections begin to show up. Many things that corroborate what she's learning about these ancient sites and who might have built them and why they might have been built. But many things happen, especially when she's reading the diary, when we begin to come into the idea of past lives, who or where we've been before, and how is that impacting our life today? What message, what meaning, what part of us has been held in those past lives? This is a story about choice. If there's any particular main theme, I'd say that's what it is. Whether we know it or not, every little choice we make, it's the little things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis that not only alter our lives, but can change the future history of the planet. <laughs>